Good morning. My name is Jay and I'm speaking to you from my canary barn here in northern Alberta. I've had a few inquiries from members of our local club, the Northern Alberta Cage Bird Association, about how to ban canaries and how difficult it isn't. The first thing one has to determine is the size of the band that you're going to need. Here in Canada, we get our bands from our national club organization called the Avicultural Advancement Council of Canada. They put out a band size chart that everybody has access to, as well as a pictorial guide to help novices become familiar with the process. I have a band holder that I use to organize my bands and keep them in an orderly fashion. I keep the bands on separate wires where I first sort them by size and also in numerical order. I find it makes my task so much easier. I use the E size for the fife, uh, the G size for the Scots, Borders and Colour Bread, and the J size for the Norwich and the Yorkies. Here is my first set of volunteers, which is the nest of Yorkies. I band between 7 to 10 days of age, depending on the growth of the youngsters. If they are too young and small, the band will slip off, and if too large, then one has to resort to a larger band size, uh, as the band will not fit over the ankle. Here I have the foot of this youngster placed on my index finger, with the three toes held gently but firmly together. I then place the ring over the center toe, and then over each of the two side toes. I gently pull the ring back over the ankle and then the back toe and nail. I then remove the back toe and nail from the ring to complete the task. It is just that easy. I then return the youngster back to the nest and let it settle in before I start with the next one. This picture shows the difference in sizes of the uh, bands. It's important to use the right size band. If the band is too small, it will not fit over the ankle, so I will continue with the rest of the nest mates. It does not take that much time to band a nest of babies. I will next band a nest of fife, which are a smaller canary, and although they are smaller, it is the same process of putting the toes through the bands. One of the things that I noticed is that when going through this process, that uh, when one removes the baby from the nest, it will void, that is, it will shit on whatever has a hold of them. Just be prepared. Uh, have some. Uh, Kleenex or something handy.
some youngsters can prove to be a little less cooperative with the process. If sometimes the ring is a little too tight, I will apply a few drops of vegetable oil the band. It's just a matter of gently rotating the band as uh, I slide it up the leg to complete the process. Do not try to rush the process. It only frustrates both you and the baby canary. The next important step in the process is to keep a record. And here's an example of uh, what one of the pages in my book uh, looks like. You will note that it uh, has not only the band number, but the type of uh, canary. I use abbreviations to show the colors of the uh, youngsters. And later on, when they're more mature, I'll mark in what the uh, sex is of them. One of the things I do in my setup is using colored clothespins to indicate the various stages of development in the cages. In my case, I use a red pin, clothespin, to uh, indicate birds uh, with young. The blue one indicates the uh, youngsters have been banded, and the green one is to indicate that the hens are sitting on a clutch of eggs. You may notice that I use the occasional bread tag, uh, that's from a bread bag, with a uh, number on it to indicate the number of uh, eggs in the nest. Okay, here we are looking at a few youngsters. We've got a few that are just over a week old that are feathering up uh, nicely. They're looking pretty good right now. And then uh, next door we have a couple of youngsters that have gotten out of the nest, so they're about two weeks old, thereabouts. And uh, last but not least, we have a, a couple of youngsters. They're only a few days old and uh, they're just in the fuzzy stage at the time being. I'd like to wish everybody every success in the upcoming breeding season.